Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 supports the full plan to produce business process. Any manufacturing planning and control system relies on a solid foundation, and this is no different with Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013. Let's look at the foundational elements of our manufacturing planning and control process. Specifically, we're going to look at bills of materials and routings. Please click on the box Foundation, Bills of Materials and Routings to continue. Please click on Bill of Material View within the Inquiry window. Dynamics GP 2013 supports a variety of Bill of Material types. Click on the Bill of Materials drop down arrow to display these types. Not only are manufacturing bills and materials supported, but engineering bills and material, archive bills and material, and bills and material associated with configurations in a make to order environment. Click on the drop down arrow to close the bill of material type. The bill of materials view supports a multi level indented graphical bill of materials. Click on the plus button to display this multi level indented bill of materials. When we click on a component within this multi-level graphical bill of materials, what we're going to see is in the right pane of this bill of materials view, details provided specific to how this component, in this case an arm, will behave in this finished item, the chair. Click the bill of material component arm. Now that we've selected a component within the bill of material, in the right pane of the Bill of Materials view window, we see specific information to how this component will be utilized when it's used in the manufacture of the item number. Specifically, we can determine issue from and issue to fields. We can set shrink percentages, determine whether back flushing is allowed, set up alternates, and even define whether or not we want the component only to come from a single lot. Let's go ahead and click the Where Use button to display a reverse or Where Use bill of material for the item number arm. In the display in the left pane of the bill of materials view, we now see a Where Use bill of material. Specifically, we see that the arm, our component, is used in a finished good, the chair. Now, if I can call your attention to the right pane, specifically the Go To button, we're going to see options that allow the user to maintain the bill of material. And this is very important. The easier we can make the tools and the navigation to those tools for the user, the more likely it is that we're going to maintain accurate bills of material. And that's critical for our manufacturing planning and control system. Now let's take a look at routings within Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013. Click on routings to open the menu. Many companies don't use routings, and using routings is basically an optional step, but by using routings we provide the basis for capacity planning as well as standard costing. So let's go ahead and click on routing entry to open the routing sequence entry window. The routing sequence entry window is where we define a routing for a particular item number. Now it's important to note we can have multiple routings for any particular item number. We might have a high volume routing, a low volume routing, or a routing to support, for instance, subcontracting. Routings are further defined by sequence numbers, or what some individuals might refer to as operation codes. These operation codes further define the lead time elements, setup time, labor time, queue time, move time, or cycle time. Routings within Dynamics GP 2013 also support functionality such as parallel sequences, back flushing, and as I stated before, subcontracting. Let's go ahead and click on the Go To button to display the shortcuts associated with the routing sequence entry window. Very similar to the way the Bill of Material window was designed, the routing sequence entry window provides the user with shortcuts to the tools that allow them to maintain and manage the routings and increase that high level of accuracy. I'd like you to click on the manufacturing times to display the manufacturing lead times window. 
The manufacturing lead times window provides a concise view of the cumulative lead times across both manufactured sub-assemblies and procured raw materials through the exploded bill of materials. We've seen how Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 supports the plan to produce business process, specifically the foundational elements. We've seen how both bills of material and routing can be managed by users very easily as a result of the way the tools and the navigation was designed. The key to any manufacturing planning control system is having a solid, accurate foundation, and Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 supports just that. If you'd like to view the demo again, click anywhere on the Foundation, Bill of Materials, and Routings box. Thank you.